an additional squad of soldiers straight from Britain. Oh. There is also a dispatch for you, sir. Oh, nice. Welcome back, everybody. Apparently, we're getting a squad of soldiers sent to us now, huh? Major Wells, I'm grateful that my influence over HQ in Britain was enough to reach you. I made an effort to ensure that HQ keeps its promise and reinforces your facility with additional troops to replace my son. Uh, Evan Young, reporter for the London Gazette. Gazette. Reinforcements arrived plus six. Um, plus six? Like... Is it the sh the strength of th this is plus six? What? I don't get it. That's like a that's a red it's a red mark plus six. <laughs> Did they just send reinforcements to the wrong side? I'm confused. Why wouldn't that icon be blue? Well, I mean, maybe it's maybe in case we're red. You know, this icon underneath strong has is a red logo. Maybe that's it. Well, either way, we got more soldiers, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Okay, so uh, we got Operations Eric Frundel. Uh, I was told I didn't have to give him a full operation. An amputation will be fine. But you know what? I'm going to give him a full recovery anyway, because that's just the kind of guy I am. He might be the enemy. But hey, maybe he'll be grateful that uh, I went ahead and fixed him up all the way. Maybe he'll spill up everything. Maybe he'll tell us everything we want to know. Huh? I don't know. Uh, we are apparently full on rations now. That's surprising. Let's switch this over to here. and We'll go ahead and make other things with it. And uh, let's give you a break. And we will pile in and just dog pile in the right there, I think. We want to make some alcohol, I think, too, here. So. Sir, operation was successful. Very good. Sir, engineers reached the engineers HQ requested us to send them chemical medicine supplies, if, if possible, as they're experiencing shipping delays. And if we do so, they'll repay us in staff permits. I love it. We're going to lose 17 of those meds, but we get the permits, which means we get to get another physician. Physician is ours. Another physician is ours. We can also get another scout. It only costs one. We actually have that extra one now, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Well, this is just working out great, isn't it? Yeah. This is going to be wonderful. Once I get it, anyway. Rehabilitation center upgrade is done now, too. Very, very good. We have a couple of people <clears throat> arriving in good condition here. We'll just uh, give you to a doctor. It doesn't matter. And man, do we need that physician because these guys are, they're hurting big time here. <laughs> uh, we're just going to get you on the schedule, but uh, we can't put any more. We'll flip them around and, and get them in here soon. Uh, I think we definitely need to expand how much or how well we can produce these different types of medicines. I think we really need to hit that as well. So I'm going to hold off on producing rations and produce everything else instead. And uh, I think probably pull you out of there. That's fine. These guys are on a schedule. That's why there are so many of them there. And then I think maybe we'll go ahead and put you two on a shift as well. I'll get you on an eight hour shift or oh, sorry, a 12 hour shift. Yeah. And then uh, you just started your shift. I could probably... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep these guys. Yeah, we'll keep those guys just the way they are. Um, okay, I was looking for improvements. So we're we're big up on this. We're full on our on our freight. So, uh, what's next? We don't have a whole lot of drafts to spend, but allows the use of emergency measures. Emergency measures allows for sending soldiers to the trenches before they finished rehabilitation. It's possible that will come in handy. I don't know if it's four drafts worthy, but yeah, we have this. Increase the speed of patient rehabilitation by 10%. Love it. Let's do that instead. And uh, we'll get you two on that. Cool. So that'll spend a little bit of the freight, so we're not wasting it. And we're not making any rations, so we'll go through those too. Um, I think we'll probably... If I needed morale, this would be the time to, to do the special... Special food, but... I don't think we need it. I don't have any drafts for any more improvements anyway, so I guess I'll just sit here and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, shorter rehabilitation and morale rises. It's, it can't go up any more than 99%, though. Apparently, there is no 100% morale in this game. All right, cool. 
Well, we're going to have our scouting party done pretty soon here. Um, I am hoping the personnel. I didn't, I didn't get the extra doctor yet. So look at this, man. Oh, my God. We, I need two more of these phys physicians. Jeez. They are all over me right now, aren't they? I'll do some amputations on those two. When is that physician coming? Uh, August 11th, 120 p.m. So in an hour. He'll be here in an hour. All right. This surgeon just got leveled up. We're going to give him steady hands, I think. Significantly rises chance for... Uh, operation simplifications. I like that. We just got a couple of them too. Everything's becoming more simple. Shorter, shorter rehabilitation. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Secret plans. It takes some time, but the scout team finds the center point of the operation deep in the woods. It looks some sort of German camp is being prepared. There are multiple trucks with equipment uh, standing at the center of the camp. At least two platoons worth of soldiers were working on some kind of excavation. It seemed like the Germans were preparing for an advanced position. Based on the pattern of excavation, there will be a double trench line and at least one line for mortar positions. The work was only beginning. It would take the Germans at least a week or two to finish it. But the commander knows that the sooner they destroy this camp, the better. Report the findings to HQ. We will provide additional 10 drafts as a reward for this new information. Sir, scout unit started in very good. So they are returning to HQ right now. I just got a new scout. Your weapons. Germans are approaching. Well, there's a fight happening now, but I just got a new, I got a new physician though. Desperately needed the new physician. <laughs> oh my God. All right. We can skip the battle scenes. It's not really that important to watch them. All right. So this extra scout team that I have, I think we can maybe do the counter espionage. Look at this. A group of people are asking questions about the hospital and a nearby front line, showing an unusual interest in both subjects. The scout team should be sent to investigate and find out if they're German spies. Oh, they're not in the scout. I have to wait for them to actually get to the scout tent first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to get, they have to get here first. Okay. Now, Operation was successful. the doctor should be here now, right? Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. We're going to start with you because you got the three stars and it's only a three hour surgery. Uh, then we're going to shift to, uh, let's get you go. It's a seven hour procedure. Can I get shorter ones? This one. Yep. This one, uh, we'll do this one next. There are very low chances of problems, complications, things like that. And then from there, we'll do these two, but we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to make sure that we get our rest there and then we'll follow up at that point with this one I, I think that will be fine but man is that so much better than just having one uh let's just give you there there we go and then this person here he's stable three stars pop it on my good position and away we go oh man all right operation will cost one extra med uh an hour and a half shorter is pretty good actually let's do that we have a lot of soldiers that are in that chemical. They're going to be a cap that chemical problem, right? So we really got to make sure that we get these. If these operations can go shorter, that'd be great. We have 15 people wounded in the trenches. You know what that means? We need to send more people to the trenches. That's what it means. Uh, let's put you, swap you out. Let's give you a rest as well. And nurses, how are we doing? You guys are on shifts. So I'm going to go like that. Speed up rehabilitations later once you're rested. Engineers working on those orthopedic lifts. Do like that. Um, I think probably let's flip you out and go here. All right, there we go. So we need more people in ADS. Sir, medics are on the way. We have a complication. I don't need morale to go up, but the longer rehabilitation, it could hurt me. I think our rehabilitation center upgrade is something we're going to work on, though, if we haven't already. I kind of forgot if we did that or not. I don't think we did. Or did we? I don't forget. I forget. Did we do that already? Where is it? Yeah, we did that already. Okay. Sir, I wasn't sure if we'd started it and finished it or not. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. um, Yeah, we don't need that. Just do the normal recovery is fine. I don't I don't need the morale to go up. We're, we're so good on morale that if there's ever any, like, downside, 
in exchange we get to have our morale go up, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not do it, you know. Doesn't really matter. All right, go to the sky scout tent. Let's do the uh, let's see if we can find this this guy's daughter. He's worried somebody's uh, kidnapped him, so let's go ahead and do that. Can I before we do that? Can I get a dog? Add dog. There we go. These guys have dogs now. Okay, now I should be able to go love struck, and it should be a faster mission because of that. So, there we go. To the new mission. So we got two scout teams doing things so, now. Seems pretty good. And surgeries are getting cheaper, and they're getting easier, and all good things. We're going to need to reinforce the line again. We have another fight coming up in a couple of days. This one's not, not all that great. And I can't actually send these guys to HQ or anything because they're unfit for combat now for the oxygen inhalation. I can't do anything with them. So, but that's why my morale is so high though. It's just, I'm sending them home, you know? Uh, so this guy's getting operated. I'm going to shift you to, let's see. Now this guy's stable now. See that he's, he's stable. So he's going to need to be pushed up a little bit. I'm going to do this with these two. I'm going to put you here. And then, man, I'm in another chemical ward. I'm in another physician, man. I'm going to need it. <laughs> I need it. Uh, let's make sure the rest happens and we're good. Okay. And then these guys are all just rehabilitating really quickly. All right. I'm going to let it run a little while and we'll see what else we can come up with here as my medical team is now going to get maxed out and I'm not entirely sure what Bradley's doing right now, but I'm going to make him perform better at ADS because I can. Okay. I will see you guys in a second. Having a hard time actually keeping up on alcohol because we're using it for, you know, drug production and everything to keep us up. So I'm going to go ahead and use a couple of these drafts to buy some. Uh, I think maybe we'll actually use three to buy some here. So let's get some on the next train. The next train is at 5.45 a.m. That's quite a ways away. That's the, that's the next cargo train. Uh, HQ dispatch, Major Wells. I am to inform you that the HQ is grateful for yours and Lieutenant Colonel's uh, Lieutenant Colonel McFinnigan's McFayugan's. <laughs> I don't know how you say that name. Uh, if it was an N, that makes sense, but this is an H. Uh, pr present. I'm, I'm happy for your Colonel's present, uh, f in the form of Major Eric Frindle. Major Wells, I am to inform you that HQ is grateful for yours and Lieutenant Colonel McFeehugans, I don't know how you say his name, uh, present in the form of Major Eric Frindel. Frindel. Uh, his interrogation should provide us with much useful information. As a token of gratitude, we decided to divert some additional resources from our other facilities to your hospital. We get all the things we want, including two more staff points. Lovely. That's enough for another engineer. Might take another nurse instead, though. I think I'll take another nurse instead. Yep. Let's go ahead and grab the nurse. Now, I could have waited maybe to see about getting another physician at some point, but that's still going to require the improvement before I can do that. And I don't have enough drafts for that anyway. However, those drafts are very helpful because... Actually, why don't we wait? Why don't I save them? And then I could... Maybe just up the surgery, the surgery ward, or we can get one of these, some of these things. Electromagnet. I think this is actually a great thing to have now. Decreases times of operation by 25%. I wish I could do something. Yeah, like the chemical ward here increases operation success by 25%. Can I do speed? All wards. Here we go. All wards. Increased chance of operation simplifications by 25%. I think these are like, I think this is a really good thing. Just everything hydrotherapy like yeah all of, all the things are on this we'll just do all of these and we'll get all of you to do that there we go we'll spend the drafts on that thing whatever that's doing for us uh let's go up in here uh we want to have this guy's got three star put you right there 
it's not really three star but you, you get it you get what i'm saying uh and then oh, three surgeons well rested we're getting a lot of chemical stuff and that's kind of the only thing we're getting is chemical stuff right now very happy to have that physician it was necessary for sure we still have 12 people in the trenches now 13. can i see those i want to see them can i see them i can see i can see people oh, i can see these i don't know what this is one four is it telling me how many people are left in those positions two i think that's what that is oh and i can see the the ads people going out and getting them too well that's cool yeah they actually they actually moved to there okay awesome a missing girl the scout team searched around the village and quickly found the tracks of two people leading into the nearby forest one of the sets of footprints was visibly smaller probably belonging to a woman following the tracks the scouts delved into the forest where they found a clearing with a small camp a young around 16 year old girl who was in the camp preparing a meal in a cauldron above the campfire a young man sits next to her and was cleaning his rifle hmm let's hide and observe the camp the girl looks happy humming in a lively song humming a lively song to herself the man beside her smiles and glances at the girl from time to time to the scout commander this does not look like a kidnapping at all called it she ran away then the man spots the scouts hiding in the bushes he jumps up and reaches for his gun while the girl hides behind his back the man seems determined to protect the girl try to start a conversation the commander raises his hand slowly tries to talk to them both he explains that he is a british soldier and was asked by the girl's father to find her the girl tells the man to lower his gun i fled from my father she began to explain he does not approve of my relationship and refused to give us his blessing so we want to flee to paris and get married there the scout commander is not surprised stories like that happen all the time even during wartime he tries to convince the girl to not abandon her family he is sure that with enough explanation her father will accept her relationship the girl only shakes her head they had tried that already she asks the scout to return to her father and tell them they could not find her the commander agrees he needs to return to her father even if it's only for more information he is not convinced that lying to the father is the best option understood so is he going to go back I guess he's gonna do whatever I tell him to do, isn't he? <laughs> um, where is the where is the scout stuff? Is it right there? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the use. The UI is actually a lot easier than I've been making it out to be by going through these different windows. But uh, yeah, so we have preview teams. So the love struck team, huh? This is where they just were. Now, if we had to go back here, returns to the girl's father to let him know what they found. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do because that makes. That'll make him happy. Your daughter's running away. Okay, so Ronald Walker is an engineer. He has eccentric. Others working with them tire faster. That's no good. Uh, now we have one that's crossing it out. Others tire, tire faster. Okay, so this is to remove a trait, looks like maybe, because it's Xing it out and it's red. So I think that's probably what that's doing. Uses up less resources to produce medicine supplies is pretty good though. That's pretty good though, man. I'd like to get that instead, but I may not be able to, I mean, I really may not be able to get rid of that later though. It might be an either or tank. I'm going to get rid of it now. So I think that removes it. Ronald Walker was his name. Let's take a look at the engineers. Ronald Walker. Yeah. He no longer has any traits at all now. Okay. Okay, so we can have Ronald work with other people and they won't get more tired. Perfect. Uh, we're at 215 on the rations. We can go in there. And we're actually full on med kits. Med medical supplies is full. So why don't we shift gears, make some of this stuff instead. We can actually, let's swap you all out for some fresh, fresh set of people here. So we'll use the supplies for this instead. And, uh, and we'll save on the med kits since we don't really need the the standard medical supplies anyway and then we need to send you still too few send you to the front line that's still too few yikes a group of refugees have come to the hospital they're asking for permission to stay here okay so we're still gonna do that more refugees 
more civilians to feed. The need to feed is great. I'm not sure if there's any benefits for taking civilians. I, I don't see any references to that. Civilians, sated effect. So, like, nobody's hungry, which is good. If I went like this, so not down 9% per meal. I don't need to do this, but this is, I'm just kind of getting a feel for what that's going to do. So we're going to use 95 a day right now. I think the more civilians we get, I think that's what it is. The more civilians we get, the more rations we're going to use every day. So this is now 29 to be used in an hour. Total of 95 per day. We ain't lasting long at 95 per day. Oh, yeah. Definitely decreased cost for sure. And a shorter operation at the same time. It's brilliant. Absolutely should do that. Uh, let's go ahead and pop you out. Put you there. And medical teams. We'll swap you two out. Give you a rest. Put these two in instead. We might want to look at, the next time we get drafts, expanding ADS so we can get these guys out of the trenches. Still too many people here that are wounded. We, we've got to do something about that. And uh, I have the ability to put five medical teams in here. I probably should look into doing that instead. Sir, we have received a dispatch concerning one of the patients who was recently brought in by ambulance. All right. What's the dispatch? First off, we're going to make the surgery easier because our doctors are awesome. Okay. So do we have a VIP again. We do. So this is our VIP. He's not a very high rank. His name is Christopher about. It's not a, not Abbott. It's about it's his name is about Christopher about, or if you're Canadian, it's a boot to major Henry Wells. I turn to you with a request to help one of our agents who suffered serious injuries during his work for our bureau and requires immediate medical attention. We would appreciate if he was treated as a priority but he is a valuable asset whose work provided information critical to ending the war. Okay, so Colonel Charles, Charles DuPont wants me to do this for him. Service history and personal information was deemed to be classified. All right. By the Duchesne Bureau de l'État. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. Uh, Major General. So anyway, so this is a 20-hour operation. It is insanely expensive. It's going to be an exhausting operation. Not like these guys aren't already doing this, right? Uh, tell you what we'll do then. We're going to get you rested. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and rest here. Then we'll do this. Then we'll rest again. We'll shift these surgeries down into this area. And we'll do something like this instead. Swift these, flip these over like that. We'll do it like that. In fact, I think maybe we'll forego the oxygen on these two because I really need more people. Because these guys, as soon as I give them the the oxygen inhalation, I can't use them. They they immediately get discharged. So, which is helping my morale a lot. But I need those. I need the other perks that they provide. So, we're gonna do that. So you'll finish this operation. It's a short one. Then you'll rest, and when you're fully rested, you'll take care of this guy. Uh, all right, and then you can just go there. Oh, all right then. Good, good, good. How's our stuff over here looking? Can I... All right, we're up to good now. Now I feel better about the, the, the trenches, too, because you can never tell how many it's going to take until you finally, you know, tip it over the edge. And once you once you got good, you feel better. You feel a lot better about it, because you're like, hey, we're not going to lose. <laughs> it, we might have a lot of injured, but we're not going to lose. All right, I didn't get, I'm not getting drafts, man. I'm, I'm out of everything. Like I can't do, I can't use these for improvements without the drafts. The engineers have to do everything here. Let's put you there, swap you guys out for that. Let's go one there. Uh, we'll put you in for food rations instead. Probably should unlock these other slots. We just got our new nurse. Uh, she's actually Olivia Phillips. She's right here anyway. So uh, let's let's get those rehabilitations cranking. We'll, we'll go full on the rehabilitations right now. A father's wrath. 
upon returning to the girl's father. He seems increasingly worried about his daughter. He looks like he's aged since the last time they saw him. When they appeared in front of his house, he jumped out of it, asking for any news straight from the get-go. The girl had asked the commander to lie to her father and let them escape to Paris. This will surely only make the girl's father more worried. However, he also knows that if he tells the truth, the girl's father will probably try and find them on his own and take the girl back. Hmm. I think I'm going to tell him the truth. I'm a dad. I'm also a hopeless romantic, but nah, I'm going to tell him. I mean, I don't know who this guy is. For all I know, this dude is a bad influence on her. You know, for all I know, it's like, you know, the young love, but the dude acts, is actually abusive. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe he's the kindest, most sweetheart of man ever. But if that's the case, then why is the father not like him? I don't know. Maybe it's a Romeo and Juliet situation. And he, the guy didn't do anything wrong. He's just born in the wrong family. You know? There's no a plague upon both your houses here, so I have to choose one. Um, I'm going to tell him the truth. Scout commander nods his head, tells the father that they, could track her, that they could track her down, then proceeds to explain the events that happened in the camp and the girl's decision to remain with her lover. The man's expression changes, first to sadness, then pain, and then into a rage. <laughs> he shouts and orders the scouts to bring his daughter back immediately and shoot the man who is with her. The commander refuses, uh, tells him that they do not take orders from him. Still shouting, the man drives the scouts out of his house. The team could hear the curses tossed at them and the girl's father all the way out of the village under Zud. I mean, look, we don't take orders from you, dude. We have done our jobs. We told the truth. We did our jobs. All right. I'm actually going to... I need the drafts really bad. We're going we're gonna to do drafts on all three of those. And I'm hitting rehabilitation really hard right now at plus 188% speed. So I should be able to get those things real quick. Okay, we got critical. Let's give the critical goes to the, the better the better doctor here. A three star here. We're going to go up there for you. You're a serious one. So we're going to put you ahead. Uh, yeah, we'll put you ahead. And then uh, we'll have the one that's in good condition will be after the critical one. Then you'll get a rest after that. Okay. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. I missed one. It's right here. Yep. Uh, you are just going to go to one of these. All right. Outstanding. Also, I need to get used to hitting C. That's the hotkey for the CCS. I've been hitting F to do to do all of these things. I'm getting better with these hotkeys. All right. The old the old dog's learning new tricks over here. Okay. <laughs> uh, understood right there. Uh, understood with the decreased medicine costs or shorter rehab. Ooh, I think I like that better. And you, shorter rehab. Very good. I love that increased chance of simplifications. It's so great to just like have a much. May I inform you that I left a personal recommendation with one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty clearing station. Of course you did. It's nice to just have better things. Look at this guy's here. By 51 hours. That's wild. We're going to have the rehabilitation center going to be empty soon. That's sweet. So definitely love being able to have, you know, the surgeon upgrades are really nice. All right. We have somebody who is in stable condition, but he's a VIP. We have another critical one there. We're going to put you there. Uh, stable VIP, 25 meds it takes for this guy. Steve Rogers. Are you kidding me? Steve Rogers? Please. Please match in the bio. Please. I inform you that Private Steve Rogers showed an attitude worthy of a soldier and threw himself on a grenade to protect his companions in arms. Thanks to a steel plate he was wearing, he survived. As such, a display of bravery is a rare thing. Rescuing his life could inspire and boost the morale of all the soldiers in the trenches. I implore you to consider taking steps that will ensure his return to the front lines in the future. Ever since he was a little boy, he had been fascinated with the military. When he was old enough, he tried to enlist at West Point, but was unsuccessful. And from that point on, he trained himself in paramilitary organizations. And when the war came, he enlisted in the military. But he was too small. They wouldn't, they wouldn't allow him to join. And then he found this crazy scientist dude that did this awesome procedure on him. Some guy named Stark. I don't, I don't remember. But he, then he became a super soldier. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we definitely need to do this. Um, so... 
I'd like to do it on the, the best. I'd like to give him the best care. So we're going to switch, switch you uh, up to here. Do a rest after that. Then we're going to do this. Thank you for agreeing to my request, sir. I am sure that Private Rogers' return will inspire my men. You mean Captain Rogers, right? He's a captain now. Anyway, um, we're going to give it to Elaine Barbeau. Oh, he's the best surgeon I have, so right there. Uh, and then pop you there. And then the rest of you can just be amputees, <laughs> I guess. The rest of you. Now we're going to use 40, 42 of these meds. I mean, one patient wanted 25 of them. That's that's kind of insane. Yeah, it's just That's a huge cost. We're definitely going to have to make more now. Swap you out, put you in there. Uh, I'm trying to use these the freight as fast as I can. It's just, you know. Sounds weird because in the last chapter, we were always really short on it. And now I'm just trying to use it as fast as I can to generate as much value for my troops as possible. We're down to 87% morale. I didn't notice our morale took a hit, but we do have 18 deaths now. When did that happen? Damn, they must be dying in the trenches. We've got a complication. Uh, increased cost. I can, yeah, boost the morale is fine. I mean, it was, it's, it's actually dropping really fast now. Secret plans. Returning to HQ, the scout commander goes directly to the officer he spoke with last time. He presents his findings and urges the officer to send at least three platoons to deal with the camp as soon as possible, while the Germans are not dug in yet. The officer appeared to agree with the commander's opinion. He thanks the scouts for their intel and goes to prepare a plan of attack for the camp. Excellent. And shorter rehabilitation there too. So we definitely want to take a look at uh, why the morale is dipping. Because it has been dipping a lot actually. And I'm not entirely sure why it would be doing that. Oh, why do I keep doing that? I keep, I'm not used to the schedule. That's why. Like I see them tired and I'm like, ah. But it's, it's because they're on a shift. And honestly, they're too tired for this shift. They really are. We need to do eight hour shifts. We need to, we need to have eight hour shifts here. Um, I'm going to pull you out to give you a rest. I'm going to pull you out actually to give you a rest. And then we're going to go 24 hours here. You're both on, sh you're both coming to work early and I'll flip you guys in later. Uh, switch you out, switch you in, switch you out, switch you in. And no, I want Leon. I want Leon here. Yeah. yeah Leon needs to be here. Um, well, technically Leon wants to be alone too, but he's better in this position. Um, I think isn't Leon's the one that wanted to be alone, right? Am I, am I imagining things here? I thought Leon was the one that wanted to be alone. Uh, yeah. When working solo. Yeah. Uh, -huh, I'm trying to remember. I'll, I'll flip you. Leon's going to be over here in the cemetery then. Okay. Good. Uh, we keep going then. We're waiting for orders in the scout tent. Both sides are waiting for orders. Uh, I forget which which set preview teams here. Um, Aiden Powell's team. They've... Uh, I don't remember which one was on which quest because I don't want them to like cross over, but maybe it doesn't matter. Counter espionage. Group of people are asking questions. Oh, actually, I think both quests are done, aren't they? No, Love Shark is here. Scouts are worried that the girl's father might do something reckless. Want to check on the girl and her lover to make sure they're fine. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, is that so? These guys can get there significantly faster, so they must be the team that was, was doing this before. Yeah, yeah, they're already right here, so we can see their path, actually. Interesting. It's underneath the UI, but it's there. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one. Seven hours away. And then the other team can go to the counter espionage, I think. Nine hours away on that side. Okay. You both have your orders. Off you go. And we have a whole bunch of people waiting for surgeries. Of course we do. Let's put you there. You're going to rest after that anyway. And then you are going to take uh, this guy. I think I'm going to allow you. It's like I either get morale for him which is fine or I spend one extra med and I can actually get like a draft for him instead. I think I'd rather do the draft in that situation. Uh, definitely want you there and then we'll put you here. That's a 12 hour surgery. Wow. 
and then you are going to go after the VIP uh, here. As an amputee. Because we are using a lot of meds now. Shorter operation seems good. And we continue on. Oh, how are, my advanced dressing station is still got three people out there. Still a lot of work to do out there, huh? All right. So, uh, drafts, please. Let's do drafts with you. We'll put you in the battlefield. You in the battlefield. You can go in the battlefield as well. Uh, you can go as well. And then a we'll draft here. So I think I gave them a lot of soldiers there, even though I really want drafts. I still gave them a lot of people there just now. Pharmacy has exhausted. People will move you over into here. And then I have the ability to improve things now because I've got lots of drafts. So how about we get casualty clearing station upgrade standard tissue transfusion kits. Sounds nice. I can't seem to get the window to stay put. There we go. Uh, Pull the person off of alcohol uh, out of the rations. Yeah, we don't need anybody with food rations anyway. So let's do that. Uh, and then another improvement we could do is we already have the hydrotherapy, which is great to see. I mean, maybe another chemical word. We have a lot of chemical stuff going on, you know. It seems like it'd be good. Or we could just decrease the time of operations in the surgery ward. It only, it only affects one ward, though. If there's an upgrade that affects multiple things, I, I want to do that instead. You know? Mm. Oh, more slots for medic teams and stuff. That seems like it could be a good thing. Yeah, I like that, actually. Holding stretchers and stuff. And then we have the Thomas splint. Yeah, we want to get both of these things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. And we'll go there. Okay. Those two upgrades for now. And then we can... Uh, keep jamming away at it as we go but that's a good number of drafts I, I definitely happy with that morale's gonna rise or longer rehabilitation or we take a, a uh i think we can support that rehabilitation i think we can support it because we have that 20 capacity in here now so it's a little better 38 hours is a lot though like plus eight hours i'm all right 38 hours that seems really excessive here uh, I'm going to take the morale hit on that. We're at 82%. I can take, I can take the morale hit on that. Uh, are we like tired or something? What's going on here? Yeah, they're exhausted. Let's give them, let's give them a little bit of help here. Yeah, we are running real thin on medical teams. I, I think I really like to get another one. Yeah, it would be nice to get another medical team. I don't. Does it, does it allow me to? Do I have capacity for that? I don't. I need, I need to do an upgrade in order to do that. I can get another engineer, though. Medical teams only cost one. That's pretty cool. Uh, to get that, I need to go housing. I need to go here. And we'll have these two guys work on that. It'll give me the capacity to be able to bring in two more. And these guys are out in the... Oh, here he is. All right, so Mason Miller currently tires faster, but he works more efficiently. If I could do something about how fast he tires, that'd be cool. Um, I can't. Long story short, I, I can't do that. So uh, others working with him perform better. Slightly increases when they work. And morale increases over time as they work in the air. Let's, let's have other people work better with you or I can have you if I work you better at if I were have you work better at cemetery I just have to make make sure that the mason is near the stone ah ah there that's how I'll remember that the mason goes near the stone that's this is the wrong mason that's an engineer of course there's more than one mason mason miller we're gonna swap you with this person you're working in the cemetery now congrats significantly more effective all right, I need drafts, please. Drafts, please. Go to the trenches. This is uh, this is coming closer, right? It's coming on in here, but we've only lost 19 people and saved 74. I'm liking our, I'm liking the ratio here. I'm thinking we're doing pretty well. Let's have the cemetery. 
let's have them help out really quick here there there's a lot of bodies to bury so let's get that going quicker and we want to say you are five meds i have the meds eh, for now i have them so we'll get you there and then we'll put you there uh yeah everything's good easier surgery morale rises and i can't click this one uh hi worries about the daughter when the scout team approaches the girl and her lover's camp they hear shouting they run into the camp to see the girl's father pointing a gun at the girl's lover, ready to shoot him on the spot. The commander lunges at the father's rifle, snatching it from his hands. And enraged, the girl's father shouts at the scouts, telling them that this is none of their business. Then, seeing the shouting doesn't work, he calms down a bit and tells the scouts that they were lied to. The girl's lover is a German soldier. He doesn't look much like a German soldier. Uh, and a coward at that. Oh, all right. <laughs> and he is he deserted. The girl, scared, begs the scouts to let them leave. They do not want any trouble. They just want to leave peacefully. And the commander's orders are to take the deserter, or to take all deserters that they find to HQ, but doing so will leave little chance for the girl's lover to see any daylight or the girl. Uh, like the thing is, like I feel like the, the scouts and the commanders and stuff, they would... You know, they follow orders, right? We follow orders, right? We take them, take them to HQ. Plus, if we if we do the job, this is the thing. Like, if we do the job, we get rewarded with shit. Like every time I do what I'm told, I get rewarded with staff points and stuff, right? Like I I want to get staff points. I just need it. But on top of that, we're also doing really well. So maybe maybe we don't need it. I don't know. Uh hmm. Uh, I know. Like, no matter what I choose here, anyone who is, like, invested in this story already is... There's going to be people on both sides, right? Uh, I don't know what siding with the daughter is going to do. What a siding with the father is going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to... If I let them... See, here's, the, here's my problem. If I let them go, and this guy complains and tells my superiors, that's going to be a problem. Right? Like, there might be consequences of this in the future, is what I'm saying. If I let him go, this guy, he might tell HQ, right? He might, the word might get around. And then I'm in serious problems, right? I'm, ha I'm having problems. On, the t on top of that, he's a deserter, but it doesn't mean he doesn't know things, right? We could interrogate him. We're going to get questions. We might be able to help us in the war, you know what I'm saying? Right? And the only sacrifice that's made in this equation is this these strangers their love that's it but is it too strong is love strong enough i don't know maybe the war will be over soon and he'll be able to see her again <laughs> i don't know i think there's too many i think there's going to be a positive if i side with the father father because i'm taking a, a german soldier deserter or not i'm taking a deserter to hq so automatically i'm going to get some benefit for this Right, it's gonna help me in the end game. I, I, there might be a negative. There might be a negative here by letting him go. I'm gonna side with the father, and be done with it. And I'm just gonna be like a cold-hearted commander. I'm just gonna be. A, I'm just gonna be a cold-hearted scout commander. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, worries about the daughter. Scout commander looks. At the girl's lover and points his gun at him. He asks the girl if what her father is saying is true. She declares that this does not matter to her. As she loves him. And he loves her. And it's, that's all that should matter. The commander nods. But tells the girl that they have orders. One of the scouts approaches. One of the scouts approaches the girl's lover and arrests him. The girl tries to plead with the commander. Begging him to let him go. But he is unmoved. Because he is a cold bastard. <laughs> He responds by telling the girl that she can travel with him to HQ and take her plea up with them. See, that's fine. That's fine. I like that. The girl's father seems unsatisfied. The commander, the commander approaches him and with a dangerous glare in his eye demands the reward that was promised to them. Ah, ah, there it is. Yeah. There is a bit of hesitation from the girl's father, but then he gives in and tells the scouts where he will give them the supplies he was promised. Okay. So... 
So Scout Team escorts the Deserter and the girl to HQ. Scout Team acquires 20 rations per person? Per prisoner? Per person, I guess. I don't know. So we get some rations. Fine. Uh, and a new depot has been unlocked. The Father's Farm. A new depot. Unlocked. Father's Farm. Interesting. I can't click this. I don't know what this is. I can't click it. It won't let me click it. <laughs> Let's try this. All right. Rosie Wood. She's reckless. Man, this is, this is a terrible. What the, what the hell happened to you, Rosie? She thinks that the volunteer girls only get in the way and get underfoot. She's a widow with three children. Okay. Well, she's reckless, so she works much less efficiently. And on top of that, she doesn't rest well, but at least she's helping us in the operating wards. Now, I can do an exchange. Oh. I can change one of these things. I can change Curious. That's the symbol. Yeah, I can change Curious to Aesthetic if I want to. Hmm. Uh, yeah, can I change Reckless? <laughs> it doesn't look like I can change Reckless. Well, maybe I can offset Reckless by just having her work significantly better. Yeah. Maybe that's something, a way we can just offset it. I think so. I'm going to give her Ambitious instead. See how that goes. Matilda Aceron. A kleptomaniac. She's a kleptomaniac. She's stealing things from me every day. Are you kidding? Wow, I had no idea you were stealing things from me every day. Your bio is overlapping your location here. She saw many types of wounds for the first time during the war. No one mentioned that this would happen at school. Mm. So Matilda has also calm, not affected by other traits, by others' traits. So she's definitely affected by this one. <laughs> Not affected by others' traits. Hmm. Now I can I can swap here to helpful, but I can I'm only swapping this one. I can't swap the klepto. <laughs> Speeds up operating wards. I think I might do that because I want her to be able to be accelerated by you know the people who are friendly and everything. I like that. So um, I'm gonna swap it. She's a freaking klepto maniac. Uh, of course she is. All right. I don't know why I can't. Oh, the heck's going on here? Whoa, that was strange. I think something's going on with the game. I can't click these things. Let me click it. I need to reload. I'll be right back. Okay, so it brought me back when I reloaded it. It brought me back right before this decision was made. That's apparently where the autosave is. Um, it gave me the opportunity to side with the daughter if I wanted to. And uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm still going to stick to my original plan. But basically what happens, if you don't care about the spoiler, uh, they get away and presumably live happily ever after. I have no idea. They're very happy with siding with them. Uh, the father's also very pissed. And uh, we, we end up getting nothing. <laughs> um, except our morale goes up a little bit. That's all you get for this decision. All right. You get a little bump in your morale. Big deal. Uh, the other thing you get with siding with the woman, though, uh, is you get a steam achievement that says that you help the lovers escape their father's wrath. <laughs> so there's a steam achievement in it for you if you're interested in that kind of thing. All right. Um, let's. I think these are different decisions, aren't they? I'm going to be swapping curious for this. I like it. Let's just do it. And then you. I think these are very different. These are very different options to choose from them the first time. And then also, there's only three choices here, really. Because I can either do warm and add it to the list, or I can do warm as a replacement for calm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, great. Just stealing shit. I'm going to have it replace. Uh, okay, and can I click this now? I can. All right, so everything seems to be in order. Clickety clicks and everything seems to be in order. Let's do a real quick like run through our staff here. I don't think we need this many people on that. I don't think we need... I, I think we're good for having a little bit of a rest here. Uh, the nurses definitely need to be taken out. We'll put Axel in her place. Uh, Lot and Phillips both there too. Let's actually swap you to here. We'll do something like this. That seems fine. 
Uh, the engineers all need to be taken out of their posts as well. And then I have actually a lot of a drafts at the moment. I don't know if that's considered a lot or not, but I have a, I have quite a few drafts right now. And what I'm thinking of doing, uh, as soon as we... Medics are on the way. We're going to let that take its course so we can actually do that. Um, Elaine Barbeau. Yeah, patient shows high signs of recovery. Good. How is my VIP doing? I wonder. Christopher About. How are you doing? Can I see your card? I want to see the patient card. How can I see that? Go here? Yeah, like this. So it just says he's in good state. Good condition. Operating. Simplification high. Complications high. Yeah, it's going to be very exhausting. We know that. But, uh, you know, he's going to rest right after that. And then, you know, we'll, we'll bring you down to here. We'll give you to this guy instead. We can actually have you start that operation now. It's fine. And then you'll, you'll rest there. And then we have op three operations going there, too. Yeah. All right. So... What's what are we missing in CCS? Why is it blinking at me? I think it's because they're I'm swapping staff right now. Yeah, so there's yeah, technically nobody in there yet. The Cause everybody's like being juggled around. All right, improvements. Let's decrease time of operation by 25. I like this. I think that's gonna work out really well. We'll go one guy on that. Uh, I got eight drafts left, uh, over 1,200 freight. I'm thinking I want to reduce the rest time for everyone by 10%. That seems like a good thing to do. And I'll get you on that. All right now, everybody's really tired, but we're going to eventually have more people on those two improvements. I think that'll be great. Oh, come on. Let me click it. It won't let me click it. I don't know why. Why does it do this? Was successful. Oh, things are successful. How do I see Christopher about? We have an emergency. I want to click it. I do. I swear, but it won't let me. <laughs> All right. So I reloaded the save and uh, there's nothing there to click anyway. So the maybe there was never anything to click. I have no idea. <laughs> it's just a graphical thing showing me there's something to click, I suppose. Oh, hey. Spying eye. Scout team has no trouble finding the men asking questions about the trenches in the hospital. The scout commander decides to tail them as they seem to be easily spooked by any signs of soldiers. After a short time, the scouts follow the men to a small camp hidden in a grove. There are many men inside. All seem to talk in German. Oh, well, there you go. Observing the camp reveals that there are lots of documents scattered around inside the central tent. Some appear to be hand-drawn, Drawn maps, uh, sorry, hand-drawn maps of the area. After a while, the men finished their discussion and started to break camp, probably to leave the area and report their findings. Now, on one hand, the scout commander knows that they will be gone in an hour or two. If he leaves now to notify HQ, he will surely lose track of them. On the other hand, attacking them now seems risky. The men outnumber his team and seem to be armed with handguns. Okay, so an ill-equipped scout group, outnumbered against armed people. Doesn't seem like a good call. Reporting to HQ, sometimes that gets me stuff. <laughs> so I either lose people potentially or I get stuff. On the other hand, if we win the fight, we could see their documents. The game's made it known that it's risky and they outnumber us. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to report. This has kind of served me well so far. If they were like turning in for the night, maybe going to sleep, we can, you know, sneak in. That stuff has been working. All right. The sneaky stuff has been working, but I've been playing, I've been playing it safe pretty much most of the game and it's actually turning out in my favor almost every time, almost every time. So you get a feel for like how developers are like when they make games. You can kind of feel like what they're leaning towards and what kinds of consequences. It seems like the safe choice is almost always rewarding me. So I'm going to, I'm going to report to HQ here. So, uh, it says they decides to, we decided to notify HQ as to take precedence. Uh, while backing away, one scout is discovered. The German spy reach, uh, their spies reach for their handguns. The 
The commander shouts for retreat, and they flee from the camp under heavy gunfire. After a time, when the scouts are sure that they are not being followed, the commander checks his men. It seems Lady Luck was on their side. There are no casualties or wounded. The commander frowns, as he knows that now the Germans know that they had been discovered. He is nearly sure... Nearly sure? You are nearly sure that they will take additional steps to ensure that their tracks are covered so that they cannot be followed. He also knows that the only thing to do now is to notify HQ and then they can take this matter further. Okay, so that is what we will do then. So, uh, I have a situation going on here. I don't have any rehabilitations going on right now because all my nurses are tired. I could move some of these guys over here. These guys are not on a 12 hour shift. They're all on duty right now. I would even move her into here if I could, because I've also noticed Christopher about, all right, Mr. About, Mr. About had that long, like 20 plus hour surgery. Okay. Over here. And this doctor says he's close to collapsing. He's so tired. I noticed that's going to end up killing this guy. So we're going to move him down. I'm actually going to bring him uh, at the front here. And then I can just go ahead and get that started. Um, I'm worried about this guy. It says 18 hours, but I feel like it's been longer than that. I feel like. Uh, so this, this procedure is taking so long that the doctor doesn't have the energy. And he started this after a rest period. So... Like, I don't know, maybe I didn't let him rest all the way or, or something. Maybe I had like one procedure before him. I don't remember, but I, I thought I had him really well rested. Uh, but apparently it's not enough because I think he's going to collapse before this operation is done. So what I'm trying to do is stock, just, just stack my operating ward with as many nurses as I can. And I'm choosing the nurses that have bonuses for this ward. And I'm just throwing them in here as much as I can. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough. All right, and we're gonna see how it goes, man. Um, and I don't, I don't know, casual. I don't know if medical teams being added here will do anything. I don't think it does. Uh, engineers, I have most of them on break here because we're just like everybody got very, very tired. So standard issue transfusion kit. That'll be a good upgrade. That'll help, you know, reliability and stuff uh, on on surgeries and everything. And so if I take a look at here, Christopher about. No, almost 90% here. Cleveland Evans. We, we got the standard issue transfusion kit so, construction done. So. And I, I don't know whether I want to do any more improvements here. But, uh, well, I'm pretty sure I do. Let's get another couple of fermenting flasks in for alcohol production. So we don't have to spend our drafts on that. And we can. everybody's in staff lodging. We're going to go you on that one. And then... We have seven, we have eight left. Eight left, I think we go here, decreasing the rest time needed for everybody. If I can get this thing to stay open, there we go. We'll try that and we'll put you in there. Yep, put you in there. So that's gonna be good. Everyone will just take a rest, it's fine. And then people will just take a little bit of extra time to rehabilitate because we don't have the nurses in there right now. And we'll go ahead and put you in here and put you in here. And uh, what, I'm, what I'm looking for here is whether or not Christopher about is going to be able to make it out of here. Like if he gets to 100% before the doctor collapses, I think that's a, that's a win. But he's just close to collapsing. So I don't know what that means, whether he's going to make yeah, it or not. So the I'm just kind of watching. All right. Armel Price. Uh... Patient card, just making sure. Okay, it's not. I thought it was the VIP. I'm like, yes, but it's not. Um, decrease the cost of the meds. Yep, I'll take that. Shorter rehabilitation would be good, though. But I have the capacity in that. I upgraded it, so we'll just do that. Uh, okay, so yeah, 96, 97, 98, 99, 99, 99, 99. Sir. We lost oh no <laughs> the doctor lost consciousness 
Due to overwork, it was taken to his room to rest. He will require more time to recover. He died during the operation. We freaking killed Mr. About. Ugh. I tried. I tried. It was just such an intensive surgery, you know? It took forever. And it just, it's just too much for that doc. So, whoops. Just the way it's going to be, man. The way it's going to be. Uh, we'll go like this. And we'll go like that. All right. Um, we only have one draft left. Let's move. Uh, which one is it? Olivia here. And then uh, I want Natalie here. And Adrienne goes here too. I don't actually think think Olivia can has an like what is her I don't think she has a bonus for that Olivia has she's a glutton she eats twice a day decreases morale over time when rations are not set to nutritious <laughs> that's the reason why my morale is dropping we got Olivia in camp uh she also works slightly uh more effectively but she gets tired fast all right, so she just, she doesn't have a bonus for a specific building though. Is what I was what I was looking at here. Uh, all right, so yeah, I mean, man, if if only I had more nurses in there the entire time, that might have helped. I don't exactly know what that is though. Like operation effectiveness, effectiveness doesn't necessarily scream to me. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily tell me it's gonna go faster, right? Just maybe like more uh like a higher chance of good things happening or a shorter recovery time right it heals better that's that kind of means to me it doesn't mean faster to me but i, I thought if i had any chance to do i, I mean i saw it kind of late but if i had any chance of doing it it would be like stuffing nurses in there and it didn't happen so anyway that is the video for today on this vm anyway thank you very much for watching i appreciate you i hope you have a wonderful day Take care. We continue with chapter two next time. Probably this fight. And hopefully we can get some of these guys recovered so that I can put them in the trenches. And he's halted. Yeah, everybody's halted here. I need to put them in the trenches, though. That is not going to matter. He is... Nope. We're going to put you in here anyway. Probably going to end up doing good and having more injured for the next chapter or for after this fight, I guess. It's not really the next chapter. I have 10 days to the next chapter. But, uh... We probably won't be able yeah there we go probably won't be able to uh get this guy you know uh to uh to a strong this time around unless i do there's a thing that you can do you can research it it's called uh i know i said i was gonna end the video and then i didn't right uh it's called it's not in the housing i forget what it actually is called maybe it's in here there's one where you can it's like an emergency thing i forget which tab it's in this looks this looks right it's over here somewhere uh emergency measures yeah yeah allows the use of emergency measures sending soldiers to the trenches before they finish rehabilitation yeah we don't need it i think we'll be fine and if we get more wounded we'll heal them up all right take care we'll see ya bye bye